I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quarantine with the Stars here on AfterBuzz TV. Of course, all of us are hunkered down because of Corona and COVID, but we at AfterBuzz TV are still bringing you the content you want, need, and deserve. Uh, this series is an interesting one. What we're doing is bringing on some of Hollywood's up-and-coming actors, showrunners, writers, directors, you name it, to sort of find out what they're doing to survive this crazy time and just get to know them a little better because, you know, who, who doesn't want that right now in this climate? Uh, I'm so excited, guys. I have Muna Traore here on the line with us. Muna's been in a million TV shows, a million movies, uh, most recently American Gods, which of course is airing on Stars, which we have a huge following for here. But she's a series regular on Murdoch Mysteries, which I'll be excited to talk about. Plenty of other credits, plenty going on. Muna, so excited to have you. Hi, it's so exciting to be here. Finally, something to do. <laughs> I know, exactly. That's what I'm excited to just kind of talk on your end about. What is it like for actors right now? Like, are you getting self-tapes? What's going on? Well, it's interesting because we're getting self-tapes, but the whole pace of everything has completely changed. I mean, like, before this pandemic was announced, I was auditioning, like, every day in the room, driving around town constant, and it's literally just stopped for me. Yeah. My boyfriend, he's an actor from the UK, and he's been getting some self-tapes for stuff shooting back there, but it's really slowed down for both of us. We're both kind of anxious because, obviously, we're um, immigrants here and we've just moved here and we are just trying to set up a life. And so the idea of not working for an extended period of time, which is also part of our career, yeah. is very daunting, but because there's this whole thing that we can't control, it's, it's kind of terrifying. I'm sure, it's a very interesting time. That's right, because Muna, you're Canadian and your boyfriend is from the UK. Yes. Uh, were you guys, are you recently based in LA? Yes, so we okay. moved here in January. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Yes. Welcome to our city. So we were very excited to get settled here and to be here for pilot season to audition. And it was going really well until this. Yeah, because um, it's funny. You have this really raw, really long list of credits, plenty of huge TV shows. I guess a lot of them are Canadian, but it's interesting. We have a pretty global audience, some of them who are aspiring talent. So you know, as a Canadian actor who recently moved to LA, what advice do you have for actors, you know, in a more normal climate, I suppose, who are looking to build up their filmography like you have, even if you're not based in LA? I think just, um, I was lucky enough to be in a position to be selective about certain things. So I was making choices um, when I was based in Toronto about what projects I wanted to work on, which would sort of diversify my resume and really show people in other markets what I could do. I think it's really easy to stay comfortable and, and to do one thing. But as you can see, I've done you know a variety of roles on lots of different networks and shows. And so that was really important to me. Um, I, think, I think just be patient and, and go where the love is. I think if you have love in the city that you're in and you're working, then that's important and take your time. I've been doing this for 12 years and I just now am moving to LA. Yeah. Well, you've built up this really impressive filmography. And, you know, I am wondering for actors, whoever's kind of hunkered down at home with the rest of us, we're shelter in place here in Encino right now, despite this fancy setup. Um, what can you, are you working on craft? Are you running scenes? Are you, I'm sure you're watching a lot of TV, right? Oh, we're watching a ton of TV. We're watching the morning show right now. And nice. Every single second of it yeah. but um yeah i'm working on writing so i have um i started doing some stand-up comedy here last year with a group of girls and so we're just meeting on facetime and on skype and we're writing and we're working on jokes together i've been thinking about doing like stand up on my instagram live maybe or something just to test out some jokes because i can't go out but uh yeah i'm still writing and i'm still working on um, you know, when I do have auditions or when I'm working with my boyfriend on his auditions, like we're still running things. We're still like getting our juices flowing. Yeah. Okay. So besides morning show, what else are you watching right now? Uh, we're watching lock and key because nice. my neighbors who are also my friends from home are, um, lock and key star, Lysla de Oliveira. She's oh, one nice. of my friends and she lives directly next door on the other side of this wall. That's so coincidental. My wife and I also just started Lock and Key this week. It's really great. I sort of like the that earnest sort of 
family adventure tone that it's kind of harder and harder to find. Yeah, it's really great. And I think, I mean, I love it because also they shot it in Toronto and there's a lot of Canadian talent on it. Mm. So um, it's nice to see, you know, places that I know and people that I love, but also it's sort of like, I love watching the kids have their separate journeys because they're all so unique and it's really fun. Totally. Well, we do have Darby on our uh, on our network next week. So make sure you guys tune into Popcorn Talk. We'll be interviewing uh, Darby, who's the lead of Lock and Key. So tune in for that. Um, any reality TV? We love asking. We've, we sort of uh, champion scripted as much as reality here at After Buzz. So my thing is Teen Mom and nice. Mom Young and Pregnant. Uh-huh. I did not watch the premiere this week, but I will catch up on that. But I binged Teen Mom Young and Pregnant. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite shows. You know, you're among good company here. Our, uh, we have a very voracious Teen Mom audience. And for a while, we were doing daily Teen Mom news updates. So make sure you're subscribed to our After Buzz TV reality channel. <laughs> Definitely will. Um, so, Muno, when you look back on your filmography, obviously now is a strange time, but is there a specific project that you sort of look at as like, this is one of my favorite parts of my journey as an actor? It's always so weird explaining this, but working on Assassin's Creed was one of the best. Mm. And it, it's not like a typical acting job, but it was the most fun I've ever had, I think, for a job that I got paid a really good amount of money for. Like something that was like so professional, but felt like complete pay. Like I would pay to do that job. It yeah. was so fun. It was because we were acting, but it was, you know, you're acting for a video game and you're wearing these crazy suits and you have a sh- helmet on your head and you're working in a room that's like a green room, um, you know, green screen, but it was just so crazy and so much fun. And they had all these British actors who were like theater trained and it was really intense. And we had just, we just got to play and they gave us so much freedom as far as the blocking and what we wanted to do. It was great. Wow. We'll have to bring you back. We do have a big gaming audience. So at some point we'll bring you back to talk more in depth about that experience. Um, in the meantime, you know, we're actually about to wrap up, but uh, I want to hear a little bit about the mini films and anything else you're developing through there as we all kind of sit tight. So the mini films is my production company. I started it with my business partner, uh, Liz Melanson. And right now we have a couple projects in development. We have a feature and a television show that we're currently working on. Uh, I don't want to give away too much because we're still in the beginning stages, but um, one of them is a really fun show that's about two girls who start a company breaking people up. Oh, I love that. That sounds like a really smart pitch. I'm in already. (laughs) Great. Um, Muna, in the meantime, anything else? Where can people be keeping up with you? Instagram, Twitter? So if you want to follow me, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at underscore Muna Traore. So that's underscore M-O-U-N-A-T-R-A-O-R-E. Uh, that's really the only place that I am. So, uh, any updates or anything that's going on in my life, I'll be sharing it on there. Great. And of course, uh, stay safe, wash your hands, keep your social distance. And, uh, thank you so much for being here today, Muna. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, y'all. This has been Quarantine with the Stars here on After Buzz TV, where we're bringing in some of Hollywood's hottest up and coming writers, actors, directors, showrunners, and kind of finding out what they're doing to survive this crazy time. But make sure you guys are tuning in. We'll have two to three actors here every day, just kind of chatting. So, uh, that's what we're doing here at After Buzz TV, keeping you posted. And of course, we are also covering just about everything that's still airing on television. So as you guys are sort of sitting down, binging everything on Netflix, Hulu, whatever, check out our after shows because we've got you covered here at After Buzz TV. Meantime, my name is Jeff Graham. You can find me on Twitter at Jeffrey C. Graham. And I'm also doing daily updates for The Bachelor if you're a fan of that show. So check that out. And make sure you tune in here every day at noon for Quarantine with the Stars to catch up with Hollywood. All right, we'll see you next time. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination right, for all wrapped. your favorite Steven, TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.